Cody, go back. Good! Good dog! That was a good dog! Billy, good. This is sweet as wine. Go back. Good. Go back. Go back. Good dog! Cody, go back. Good dog. Good. Good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, good. Good. Dead. Good dog. Good dog. Real fun. Good. We're back now with Cody. Um, new week. It's Monday morning. We this weekend. Um, I didn't handle her at all. I didn't use her. I didn't do any back casting with her. Um, so a couple of days have gone by since we last did this. I did work with her and I worked on some lining. I actually, we moved locations. Um, we've been working over by that um, horse area with the with the long. Uh, it's a big square field uh, pasture. It's got rope fence lines, long lines. Um, we've been working in there. We've been working on the outside of it, the inside of it, across it, all different angles. Not just on back casting, but um, we're working on lengthening out her line. Um, she had that tendency of hunting short, so we're kind of working through that. And she's coming along pretty nicely. Sunday I came out here and we worked. I've got a little dog hut there and we, sh we worked out of it. Um, I used a dummy launcher and I worked on some marking with her. Um, and I was sending her down this alley. This is a spot that I mowed last week. This is a spot that I keep kind of mowed. Uh, we got little hunt command spots in here. So she's familiar with this area. We've worked in this area. Um, I'm going to start because I do kind of think, I'm gonna show you, um, she does, she, she seems to do better with like putting the, the back casting into play, not necessarily in a real formal drill. So, but I think she kind of under, I do think she has an understanding of the concept right now. So what I'm going to start doing is incorporating it, um, building this back cast into some of our other drills. So it's just an extension of the back casting, but it's like applying it into real, more real world, eh, not really real world hunts, but real world training. So um, we are going to set up for some, so it's going to be a ver variation. It's not going to be just back cast. I'm not going to focus on just back casting. I'm going to work back casting into lining, work lining into recall, work recall into some pulling and pushing of the dog and um, just a variety of things. I'm going to go out and I'm going to drop a bumper. Um, I'm going to probably end up dropping multiple bumpers because I, I am working with her on sending her back. So she goes and picks something up, she comes back. I want to send her back to the exact same spot. Sometimes dogs struggle with that. So um, going back to the same spot thinking they already got it. So it's just it, all of these things are, are a combination of parts and pieces that in the end what we're doing is the big goal is her, building her trust in me to say, go out there, there's something there. So I'm gonna line her out and she's gonna run it and she's gonna get into an area. Um, the other thing that I started working on with her recently is um, with her hunt command, I want to stop her and get her into an area to hunt um, and hold an area of hunt. So that's a skill, just like back casting is a skill, that when you start to work on it by itself and, and the dog starts to understand it, it starts to click, then you can start to implement it into the other parts of your training, which eventually get into the field. So that hunt an area is something that I'm trying to build in. Um, we're still picking that apart out of the equation and working on it individually. If we have to, we'll pick apart the back cast and work on it individually. Um, there's, there's just a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different parts and pieces to these drills. If we struggle with one in particular, we'll focus on it individually. But once they start to get it, which she's starting to get this back thing, um, then we start to build it in. So we're gonna just start out with a long memory down. Um, again, the heel work can't be an issue. Like I can't stress how much the foundation parts can't be issues. The control can't be an issue. Um, that all has to be there first before you can do any of this stuff. You gotta have the dog on the whistle. Um, you gotta have all that stuff in play. So she's in pretty good spirits this morning. Good can tell by her body language. Another thing that I'm gonna talk about when I get back there is reading her before I send her. That's another thing I picked up on this weekend. Nope, oh, heel. 
So I'm gonna drop one, then I'm gonna walk back. And I just rolled another one off my leg. She didn't see it, rolled it down the back of my leg. So there's two out here right now. She thinks there's one, she knows there's one. Shouldn't be an issue on this first send. The question will be there's a bright white one that's visual. I put a feathered colored one closer. So she may run right over that feathered one um, to pick the white one and run right back over the top of it and that's fine if she does. If she doesn't, she may smell or see that other one, pick it, and that's fine if she does. The second one will be bright white and easier for her to come back to. But the first time I line her, I don't anticipate any issue with her hunting short, because she knows there's one out there. It's the second time that I line her, and the key is gonna be in reading her head. It's real subtle and I'm gonna, when, I, when we do it, I'm gonna have Ben come up close because the difference between her just looking, she might be looking in the right direction, but if she's not leaned into it, almost with her shoulders, with her head, she does this very subtle change between when she truly is gonna run the line or she's gonna run and hunt short. And I've really noticed it um, here in the last, Several, several times that I've worked with her. So she's dialed in, I can just read her energy right now. She's almost shaking, she's not sh quite shaking, but she's real intense. Good. The tail is real solid, it's not real loose, it's real solid. Good. Now when I send her back to this one, I'm gonna stop her. If she takes a hard line, I'm gonna stop her probably two thirds of the way down. I want her to square up. I may recall her a bit. I want her facing me. I don't want her half sideways. She's had, she's, I want to get rid of this habit of a sideways stop. So if I have to, I'll recall her back to me. I'm going to extend everything with pause. You're going to notice I'm going to start because I do think she gets it now. So I'm not going to try to hurry it through just to get the thing to happen. I'm going to really extend it and make her think before I take the next step. You'll see that. Good, good. She does not have it right now. So I'm gonna heel forward. Her head was slightly turned, come on. far let her go too far here I shouldn't have hollered at her here good good too far good did did good you now she ran right over that one and picked the visual one Go back. Go back. No, no. Here, 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 here. Too long I took here. Sit, good. Go, go back, go back. Go back. No, here. 
here, here, here. Go, go back, go back. Good, good. Go back. No. Here. 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 Hold. Good. Good. Now, that one didn't work good. <laughs> that whole session wasn't very good. So, we survived. We got out of it. I'm going to reset this whole thing and simplify it. Come on. Here you go. She's real sporty, which is fine with me. She made lots of mistakes there. Borderline, I was real close, come on, to getting upset a couple times. Cause I was like, man, what the hell happened to you? But we're gonna realize my setup was probably a little too aggressive. That would have worked just fine if she knew everything well. She doesn't. There's one. Nope, heel. Now instead of slipping in and unseen, no need for it right now. We are gonna send two though. Nope, heel. I'm gonna bring her back. Good. Good. We're gonna stop her sooner. It's gonna be a much shorter send. I'm gonna make sure I get a stop out of her before she gets to a bumper. Sit. Good. Good. You can see her spirits are up today. Good. Which is maybe why she struggled a little bit there. A little more confidence. Maybe too much. Good. With her, it's hard to have too much confidence because she's not a real confident dog. Good. So I'm gonna wait just a little bit. Cody. Go back. Good. 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 Good dog. Good, now that one went perfect. Good, hold, good, good, dead, very good. Went perfect, don't know if she learned a lot. Uh, 
it was boring, I think, for her. She, the way she swung around, she, it was, she knew it, but that's all right, because we got to find the success with it. And then we'll extend and make it a little more challenging. We started out just a little too challenging, I think. But you have to test it once in a while. Good. Nope. You. Good. No, 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 Oh, just too far. Here. I'm not going to re reward this a lot. Heal. I'm not going to get on her about it. So the whistle, the power of the whistle, once we get too far out, isn't strong enough to get her to stop that downhill motion. So I gotta just realize that. Good. Good dog. Good. Too much temptation. Good. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. That's it. Good dog. Go back. Good. Good. Good girl. Very good. Very good. Little distraction bird. No, leave it here, 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 here. Good. Good dog. Good dog. That's a good dog. Did good. That one was a good one. I'm gonna let her know. So. This one I go pick up myself. Good dog! Good dog! Very good! Very good! Good. Heel? Heel? Let's turn this around. I'm just gonna re reset this whole thing the opposite way is all. We'll go short. No reason to get too long. If I go too long, I don't have the I don't have the ability to stop her. That whistle's not strong enough yet. Now. One thing with this is, I don't think for a second that she doesn't know it. I do think she knows it. I don't think it's strong enough yet. So we can't move on until we get it so that it's really crisp and really strong. But the drill itself, when we set it up formally, she's not having an issue with it. So now it's applying it into the other stuff, adding other layers to it, and making sure that it comes through. So we're gonna have to find somewhere in the middle of a formal drill that's real simple, remote sit, back cast, recall, back cast, line out, stop, back cast, something in between there, and a session that I would do with any of these dogs, including her on lining and multiples and all sorts of different things that we might build on. Um, it's not quite, we can't, we can't apply this over here yet, but we can try to apply this right here or right here. I tried doing it right here, didn't quite work, so we're gonna come back a little bit. So we're just moving, moving as we need to move. Good, good.
Cody. Go back. Go back. Go back. Good. Good. Very good. Oh, that's a good girl. Really thinking. Oh, that's a good girl. You're a thinker. You're a thinker. Good. Did. Did. Good. Heel. Heel. Add a little distance to this one. Good. Good. Cody. Go back. Go back. No, 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 no. Here. Here. Cody. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Good. Go back. Go back. Good dog! That's a good dog! Very good! Very good! Hold! Dead. Now you can see the difference on that second one. The second one was not strong in her memory. She just, re she just, she, when she came out here and faded, I probably should have read that in her face. I thought I, I thought she had it. She didn't. Instantly I knew it. Stop her, recall her, start over. The second time, her look told me she's gonna go. She went, but she slowed down real quickly, and that's why I reminded her, go back, go back, go back. She does not believe the second time that there's always one there, yet. So that's just part of it. The first one, she's gonna run it. So we stop her, we send her back, no problem. She's, she's thinking, and you can just see her literally thinking this through. The second time is where she hangs up because she doesn't really trust there's a second one out there. Now, what I could do is I could mow the grass a little shorter so they become a little more visual. I could take a round bumper and stand them up so that she can see them a little bit better. I don't think, I, I think I'm really close to her believing me, um, but that's gonna come from more and more drills of lining, which is what we're working on. And we're incorporating and building in this backs, and then we'll be able to tie them all together. But. We've come, a, we've come a nice distance so far. Uh, we're nowhere near where we need to be, but that's to be expected. It's a slow process. Good, good, very good. But that's good for today with her. Very good.